Michigan's Judicial Tenure Commission is under fire tonight. It's facing allegations of racial bias involving African-American judges. Some jurists say black judges are disciplined disproportionately compared to white judges, and they're calling for an independent audit. 7 Action News reporter Darren Cunningham speaking with people on both sides of this issue. We're asking for fairness with the Judicial Tenure Commission. Groups of Michigan lawyers and judges are calling out the Michigan Judicial Tenure Commission. The commission handles formal complaints filed against judges. When someone files a complaint against the judge, the commission decides whether to prosecute the judge. In this letter, the Association of Black Judges of Michigan claims African American judges are prosecuted at a higher rate compared to their white counterparts. Since 2020, they say 80% of the judges prosecuted by the commission have been black. You only have 16% of us are judges, so why do you have such a heightened level of prosecution? Robin McCoy is president of the Black Women Lawyers Association of Michigan, which also wrote a letter calling for the Michigan Supreme Court to conduct an audit of the commission's prosecution rate. What I'm getting from um, all the parties involved is that there's this kind of cloud of secrecy surrounding the Judicial Tenure Commission and the way they do things. And I don't think that's right. I think if, in anything, there should be accountability and there should be transparency. Are African-American judges uh, disproportionately prosecuted by the commission? And, and the answer is no. All of the letters that you've referred to are relying on a single statistic. Um, and that statistic is the commission's public complaints. Lynn Helen is the executive director of the Michigan Judicial Tenure Commission, made up of nine volunteer members, a number of whom he says have experience and expertise in implicit bias. He says a number of their investigations take place privately and that some judges choose to resign or negotiate a suspension. He says the Supreme Court does not allow their identities to be revealed if it's not a public complaint. How are we going to know that without the data? They don't they haven't shared the data. Helen says an internal review confirmed there is no bias. That said, yesterday the Judicial Tenure Commission announced it welcomes an audit taking place. And Helen says that private data would have to be part of it in order to be fair and accurate. Let's say we're wrong. Let's say we looked at our data, somehow we came up with the wrong conclusion and there really is a disparity, well, then we want to know that because we don't, if there's a disparity, we want to know the reason for it to make sure we're being fair. We just want to make sure that there's fairness and equity for everybody. We've now learned that McCoy received a letter from the Michigan Supreme Court stating the court is receptive to performing an audit on the Michigan Judicial Tenure Commission. In Detroit, Darren Cunningham, 7 Action News.